When Google officially announced the Pixel phones, it revealed that the two devices had received DxOMark scores of 89, the highest scores that DxOMark has ever bestowed on a smartphone camera. To put that in the context, that's one point higher than the HTC 10 and the Samsung Galaxy S7, and a full three points higher than the new iPhone 7. While DxO mark scores for mobile devices are usually on point, we wanted to give you an idea of how the camera on the Pixel stacks up when shooting side by side with the iPhone 7. The first image shows the new cases for the Pixel phones. Both cameras capture a lot of fine detail, but the iPhone 7's shot are a little bit brighter. The main difference between the two shots is the white balance, the iPhone 7 is a tad warm, while the Pixel's image is a little bit too cool. In this shot of the meeting space's main floor, you can notice the difference in white balance again. Since both lean in opposite directions, it's hard to say which is better. When looking at the 100% crop, the Pixel appears to pull in slightly more detail from the yellow chair and the laptop keyboards, but you really have to strain to notice it. If you're still in the Pokemon Go, here's a nice shot of Chris's Pokemon Go Plus. Both the iPhone 7 and the Pixel do an incredible job focusing on the foreground and blurring out the chairs in the background. When zoomed in all the way, it's hard to tell the two apart, but the texture on Chris's skin is a little more subtle on the iPhone 7's shot. If you didn't know, this is what Rob looks like. This image shows off the dynamic range of the two phones. While the iPhone 7 image is a tad brighter than the Pixel's, Google's phone does a better job at pulling in the details of the light and dark areas in the frame. That being said, we do have to point out that the Pixel shot is slightly blurry. We're not sure if Rob was moving a little bit, or if the Pixel simply couldn't find a good place to focus on. This next picture focuses on the background behind Rob, again highlighting the differences in white balance. This time, the Pixel is the clear winner. In the iPhone 7 shot, Rob's face is pink, but the Pixel fixes in on a better color tone for his face, and even manages to nail the white balance for the Google Home display in the background. For the last image, we get to see how the two phones hold up when capturing really dark shots with areas of high contrast. Like most other smartphones, the two shots look fine when zoomed out, but the majority of the picture is a smudgy mess when you get in a little bit closer. Again, the iPhone brightens the scene more than the Pixel does, resulting in a little bit more noise at the top of the image. But this time around, the iPhone does better than the Pixel does when it comes to white balance. The main highlight of the Pixel's image is the better dynamic range, showcasing a lot more detail of the people and the sign which are outside the window. Once we spend more time with the Pixel, we'll share more details about its camera and how it compares to other Android devices. Based on these images, do you think the camera on the Pixel is better than that of the iPhone 7? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. To see full resolution images, head on over to fandroid.com.